All right, St. Anthony's warm up right into Blue Raider layups. All right, we're going to get right back out there. Coaches, anything else? No okay. step one. Okay. Okay. Oh! One for one. One for one. Half 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 one. Get back, tighten your defense up. Tighten it up, okay? And get those gaps, control the ball, keep it in front of you, go from there. On offense, we've got to make sure we come down and get a good shot. Yeah, we started the game off strong, and then we kind of got complacent with the league and we allowed them to come back, come back, come back. So at halftime we went in and we had a talk and you know, came out back, came back out strong. And then we allowed them to come back, break the lead down again. And then we had to dig in if we wanted to take the first win and give the crowd some excitement. Maybe we get more fans in the, sta in, in the stands. I mean, I miss home. I mean, I ain't played anymore. I ain't played in front of my family in about four years. I ain't played basketball in two years, so I actually just miss being out here and being able to play in front of, you know, especially my family is, is big, big playing against your family in a long time. You know, I was in Kentucky, it was hard for them to make it, so this, this was big time for me. Well, we've, we've certainly got a long way to go. Um, we had a few players that were out tonight uh, for different reasons. Um, and I was just proud of the, other way, the way the other guys stepped up. There were some guys that probably wouldn't have had a chance to play as much, got an opportunity to play. Got in some foul trouble early, forced some other guys again to play, and um, I thought we got off to a great start. They were, you could tell in the locker room, they were excited to play. They were good, they were ready to see an, another jersey. Um, and so, and, and it, it carried over. I thought we jumped out to that quickly, and a lot of times we'll ten, we have a tendency, immature team, we're immature, have a tendency to get a little uh, complacent, get a little happy with themselves, and I saw that. But give Loyola credit. Loyola's gonna win a lot of basketball games. I, they're, they're, they're big people, the ability 
ability to step out and shoot the basketball like they did from the perimeter, and then obviously uh, they can go inside as well. They, they caused us some problems. Uh, they're very well coached. They did a lot of different things offensively, but again, it, where what we needed from this game, it was perfect because it forced us to see a lot of action uh, rather than just maybe playing somebody that maybe was a little less structured on offense and just kind of run up and down the floor. This, this served us uh, better in terms of what our needs are. Do you know what our other, our secondary defense is tonight? <laughs> you know, they all kind of looked at us and you're right. You're going to play man and we're going to live or die with it. Um, that doesn't mean that we may not play some secondary defenses in the future, but right now we've got to concentrate on, on getting our man-to-man -man defense set. And I thought there were times, and eventually I thought our man-to-man -man pressure broke that was the reason the game broke up. And they finally turned that ball over two or three times. Our guys were staying it, and we finally broke them. And I was, I was glad to see that. So certainly I need a lot of work to do defensively, but also on the other side of it, I thought our defense was the difference in the margin of the game. But again, I give Loyola credit. You know, we'd get that thing up 16, 17, look like we were fixing to go ahead and just blow it open. They'd get a key basket, maybe hit a three or two or get, get, a, get fouled or something like that. Got to give those guys credit too. But that, they got a nice team.